welcome in a man who had an eight-point night tonight for the Mustangs. Five goals, three assists for JT Thielen, who joins us now here on the All Access Post Game Show. All right, JT, we're going to tell you the truth. Um, we did actually use the word easy a few times after some goals that you scored tonight, which takes nothing away from them because you got them. Um, but they all how, count the same. Yeah, right? <laughs> how good does it feel when you get some opportunities like that, when you, you come up with a play, an interception, something along those lines, and get to just sort of put it in the goal from there? I mean, it just it comes down to writing. I mean, that was something that we emphasized on this week, and uh, I got to give it up to my teammates for, for riding the goalie hard like they did and just giving me an easy opportunity to just put the ball in the net and make my life a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> JT, it seems like the chemistry between you and Wade and Brandon or Tyler has really increased as the season's gone on. I mean, I think you guys have all found your roles. Can you speak to that a little bit, what each of you bring to the table? Yeah, I mean, it always takes a little time for everyone to gel. But, um, I mean, we played together through the summer, and I think that's when everything started gelling. We started realizing what people's tendencies were. Um, Wade's a great finisher. Tyler's a great finisher. So I can always rely on, on them to be open, have their sticks open, and, and just jam it in there for them and that they usually make a play. Um, but I mean, just having a bunch of guys that I can rely on is just unbelievable. And they can re I hope they can rely on me. I mean, when yeah, I, mean, I think the, the numbers would suggest <laughs> yeah. this. So. Hey, JT, we're talking obviously a lot about this big game coming up on Friday night and a chance for you guys, whatever you weren't able to get done against the, the, the big good teams at the beginning of the season. How, how much better do you believe this team is going into these next two games against ranked opponents, Cabrini and Stevens, than you were at the beginning of the year? Cabrini and Stevens are going to be a tough, tough matchup for us. Um, Cabrini especially coming off a win with Salisbury. Um, I think we just need to come in with the same fire that we have with the teams that we've been playing, no matter how how not so good they are or how good they are. I think we just need to play at the same fire, depending on – it doesn't matter who we're playing. So I hope we can do that, and I think we will. It's going to be a tough week in practice, and I think we'll get it done. It's going to be a fun night on Friday night. It's going to be a I mean, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be quite the atmosphere up that way. A chance for you guys to go up there and, uh, and prove something, obviously, going into your own conference tournament. Eight points tonight. You ever had uh, – what, what's, what's your, at any level, career high? It's got to be more than eight. My career high, I think, was JV when I was – my freshman year, I scored 10 goals. Okay, that was, yeah. That was my high. Yeah. All right, that's a pretty good number. That's a pretty good number. But eight on a night like tonight, you'll take, obviously. Yeah, yeah yes. definitely, definitely. <laughs> hey, JT, congratulations on a big night. On It's uh, been a very good season for you. Is uh, You're back in the swing of things here. And uh, go go get them on Friday night. Appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. JT Thielen coming up to hang out with us on the All Access Post Game right. Show.